they should take home the gold, right? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome back to Video Game Versus. <laughs> Today, two colony sim rivals will enter the arena. In the blue corner, a challenger from the Great White North, we have Frostpunk. In the red corner, ready to make his opponents bleed for victory, is They Are Billions. Now while these two games might be quite different, they are both colony building simulators, one focused more on the building, the other focused more on combat. I have a deep love for both of these combatants, so we will jump right into the first section, probably the most unimportant section in a game such as this, and that would be the story. So unequivocally Frostpunk takes it in the story department. You uh, lead a group of survivors that are leaving London as the world begins to freeze. You set out to make a home, there are political uprisings, many issues that you need to deal with. Your colonists will get upset from time to time and ask you for things, and it is up to you whether to grant their wishes or leave them by the wayside. The story in They Are Billions is sort of non-existent, to be quite honest. I do believe that it is also set near London, but there isn't a whole lot of political intrigue to be had here. The reason why the zombies were formed is never really covered. It just kind of throws you into a world and says, okay, survive. And that's just fine with me. But as, as far as the story goes, Frostpunk definitely has the heavy advantage here. Next section up is the gameplay. Oh, this is a deep one. Frostpunk is much more research and resource focused than they are billions for obvious reasons, because that is what a good chunk of the gameplay is. There is no actual combat in Frostpunk. The only thing that you are fighting is the weather itself. So you'll need to improve your heaters. You'll need to uh, build automatons that can do work instead of your workers so they can sit safe at home and not worry about the cold weather. You'll need to research improved methods of mining for coal and steel and chopping down trees in order to get the resources that you need. Honestly, the gameplay loop of Frostpunk is quite simple, and this is proven near the end of the game where you have everything worked out and basically you're just sitting around waiting for the end of the game, the, the big storm that comes at the end. So it does lose some points for me in the gameplay department. It's never good to have a colony simulator that has you just sitting around with your thumb up your butt. The gameplay in They Are Billions is edge of your seat, absolutely amazing. It, I think that it takes it in the gameplay department, but that might just be a personal choice, depending if you like the combat or not. Whereas Frostpunk is a bit front-loaded as far as the difficulty goes, They Are Billions will lull you into a full sense of security before turning up the heat near the very last days, if you'll forgive the pun. There is a heavy focus on combat. Basically, all the resources that you collect are somewhat incidental. They do have technically more resources in this game, but there's a lot less research involved in getting them. Whereas Frostpunk has upgraded mines, upgraded lumber mills, things of that nature, the resource gathering in They Are Billions is much more simple. Basically, once you've unlocked some sort of gathering tech, it can maybe be un upgraded once, and that is it. They Are Billions is heavily focused on the combat, which I really do like. You can build soldiers, watchtowers, ballistas, and of course, many, many walls that the zombies will attempt to tear through. One of the most intriguing things about They Are Billion is if one of your buildings is destroyed, the horde of zombies will end up growing due to that. So what started out as a group of just one or two zombies could easily turn into tens or even hundreds of zombies if they rip through enough of your town. The gameplay loop can be a little bit frustrating as if one of the zombies finds just a small hole in one of your defenses and rips up a building, the problem can grow quite exponentially. So my final verdict is they are billions taking the gameplay department due to a stronger and more addictive gameplay loop with the focus on combat. The next section we have up is audio. I think again Frostpunk is going to take audio. The sound of the wind is all around you. When cold levels increase or decrease, there is a cracking of ice. When you choose to pass a law, a small announcement is made, and that announcement can change based on the tech tree that you decide to delve into, either order or religion. Even when you click on things in Frostpunk, there is a, a thundering boom that makes you feel like you've really just made an important decision, and that same feeling is not present in They Are Billions. In addition, the music in Frostpunk feels a bit hopeless.
I think it's about standard fare for colony survival simulators. It brings to mind something like Banished, which I haven't played for many years, but we might just throw into a video game versus here at some point. But it might have become standard fare because it does its job and it does its job well. I really enjoy the music and sound effects in Frostpunk. On the other hand, They Are Billions does a decent job as well. Unfortunately, the gunplay, which was one of the aspects in the gameplay loop that brought They Are Billions to the front for me, doesn't sound as good as it feels. If you pick up some soldiers, your guns will do a little pop pop, and I do mean a little pop pop. In my opinion, the sounds of the gun should be a bit more impactful, although granted that it might be overwhelming when you have 20 guns going at once. In addition to the sound of the guns, the narrator is basically as lifeless as it gets. In a game where you're fighting for your life for survival, I think the narrator should sound a bit more engaged than they're trying to break through. Attention. Building completed. The sounds of the zombies are rather nice, I think. And the sound when you click things and make a selection sounds relatively techy, which fits, but I definitely don't think it's as good as the thundering boom that you get when you make a selection in Frostpunk. It does not feel as impactful. Finally, there is the actual music section of the audio. The music in They Are Billions does not really feel like music to me, necessarily. It sounds like a series of ominous synth pads. Which quite honestly doesn't do the job for me personally. So unequivocally, I'm going to say that Frostpunk is the winner in the audio department. The last round will be the graphics slash performance round. Both of these games perform relatively well. I haven't experienced any slowdown on my aging rig, and I am able to play both of these games at maximum setting. As for the graphics themselves, they're relatively easy to compare because they are going somewhat for the same steampunk style. Frostpunk obviously going for something hyper-realistic, they are billions, going for something a little bit more cartoony, so I guess it is somewhat personal preference, but I do have to make a call. And in my personal opinion, the winner out of these two games graphically is Frostpunk, by a long shot. They Are Billions is a really nice looking game, I must say that. I've spent many, many hours in They Are Billions, and I like it a lot. I don't think I could have spent as much time with it as I did if the graphics were ugly. However, when compared to Frostpunk, they don't quite keep up with the hyper-realistic style, and it doesn't quite lean the other way enough to be completely cartoony. I think some of that probably has to do with the fact that thousands of zombies are going to be displayed on the screen at some point, and they didn't want it to experience slowdown, but I can only take it at face value. This is what I'm looking at, this is what I see. Frostpunk is definitely more realistic and better to look at. Frostpunk also has screen effects, when the ice comes and goes, it builds up a layer of ice in the corner of the screens, the wind is blowing around. In addition, as you scroll out to see the map, Frostpunk seems to give a lot more depth to its graphics than they are billions. So who is the winner in this matchup? I think a lot of people will guess that Frostpunk is the winner, they won three out of four rounds, they should take home the gold, right? I'm not so sure about that. They are billions, really smash it up in the second round. The gameplay loop is ultra important when you are looking at a video game, and Frostpunk was not able to hold me as much with that. I am loath to end another video game versus as a tie, like my first one was, so I'm going to drop the hammer and say that they are billions is the winner of this video game versus. Now Frostpunk is a wonderful, wonderful game. I absolutely love both of these games a whole heck of a lot. Technically. Frostpunk does have the superior advantage. It looks prettier, the sound is better, uh, but looks aren't everything, and They Are Billions definitely has it where it counts. At some points during Frostpunk, I was just sitting around waiting for things to happen, fast forwarding through days and days and days at a time. They Are Billions had me doing something consistently, which is super, super important. In Frostpunk, if you get four research stations going, within the first little bit of the game, then you've already won. It's basically over, as long as you have all of your research done before the, the big final storm hits. In They Are Billions, 
that's not necessarily the case. You can have the best research, but if you don't have the soldiers, the gold, the proper defenses in place to back all of that up, then it's not gonna matter one little bit. And I think that that is why they are billions clinched it for me. I really love the RTS combat feel of it, and Frostpunk kinda left me hanging when everything finally became automated. I had 15 automatons going, and my, my crew was just all sitting at home doing nothing. I even had automatons in the research stations, and they got everything researched because they're working 24 hours a day. So I know what to expect when I'm about to jump into Frostpunk. When I jump into They Are Billions, it's always a bit of a mix-up, and I really, really like that. Especially with the randomized maps and things like that. So I have to stick by my answer. I couldn't let it end in another tie, because it's video game versus, not, hey, let's, let's look at video games that we like. <laughs> Just because Frostpunk lost against They Are Billions does not mean that I don't like Frostpunk. It's a fucking amazing game. They both are. And that's why I've sat down to take the time to talk about them. Frostpunk might be back again in another video game versus against something else a bit more similar with less combat. If you've got any ideas for matchups that you'd like to see, go ahead and drop them in the comments. If I have the games, I'll be happy to take a look at them for you. I'd also like to know if this sort of round thing works. <laughs> I'm leaning towards no, because gameplay is basically the be-all, end-all. I don't care if a, a game is the most graphically pleasing thing with the best audio in the entire world. If it's not fun to play, then you're not going to sit down and play it. So if I should rework the different categories a little bit, maybe somebody can help me workshop that a little bit. That would be much appreciated. What would also be appreciated is if you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Check out the links in the description to reach out to me on Twitter, Discord, Patreon. I would be very, very grateful for all of those things. Huge, huge shout out to Nico the Legend for supporting us on Patreon. Currently, this has been Video Game Versus Friends. Frostpunk versus They Are Billions. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. And I hope to see you in the next one. So until then, friends. Bye bye one two three four goodbye goodbye see you again goodbye goodbye see you my friends